one example using the large data set. Pete is investigating the relationship between daily rainfall and daily mean pressure in Perth during 2015. He used a large data set to take a sample of size 12 and he obtained the following results here. He drew the following scatter diagram for the values of W and P and calculated the quartiles. Now, we're not actually going to do this bit here because I'm going to avoid part A just because it's pretty simple and it's not really to do with this video here. Uh, but it's basically talking about that these three are outliers and how it's going to affect what's going on here. So describe the effect of removing the three outliers on the correlation between daily rainfall and daily mean pressure in this sample. So beforehand, if I was to give you this graph, I think you would all probably say it looks like it's got some kind of negative correlation. But if we remove these three that we've got here, suddenly it looks like there is no correlation. So I think the relationship here is that it's going from negative correlation to no correlation. So let's just add in a blank page. So for part B of the question, because we skipped A, the effect of removing the three outliers means that the correlation changes from weak negative to no correlation. OK, it then says that John has also been studying the large data set and believes that the sample that Pete has taken is not random. From your knowledge of the large data set, explain why Pete's sample is unlikely to be a random sample. So let's have a look at the things that he's got here. Now, remember, it's Perth. OK, a couple of things you should think about Perth is that Perth is in Australia and in this particular area of Perth, it's the, it's going to be not a particularly rainy place in Australia. OK, in Australia, there is not much rain. And if you know the large data set, it's often going to be a lot of days where there is no rain. But if you have a look at this for the rainfall, the rainfall every single day is raining, which doesn't feel like it's going to be a random selection of um of days in 2015. So it seems like it just feels really unlikely that it's going to be raining on every single day when in Australia we don't really think of it as a rainy place. So let's see if we can just write that down. From your knowledge of the large data set, explain why Pete's sample is unlikely to be a random sample. Every day has rain and many days for Perth in the large data set have zero millimeters of rain. So it doesn't appear random. Okay, last bit, last bits actually. John finds that the equation of the regression line of all the data is this, give an interpretation of the figure minus 0 0.223 in this regression line. So this is saying that the rainfall for each increase of one HPA in pressure the rainfall it's going to be a negative so it's going to be decreases by 0.223 millimeters. If you wanted to, sometimes people write this, you could say for each 10 hectopascals, it decreases by 2.23, or you could say 122.3 millimeters. If you wanted to adjust this bit, you can also adjust that, but I'm happy with the way we've got it. Last of all, it says that John decided to use the regression line to estimate the daily rainfall for a day in December when the daily mean pressure was 1011. Using your knowledge of the large data set, comment on the reliability of John's estimate. So 1011 it kind of feels like it's inside the range in the range. So maybe it's going to be interpolation. So maybe it's going to be OK. But here's the, the bad thing here. It's being done in December. He's using all of the data in the large data set. But the large data set goes from May to October 2015. So it's not going to be valid for December. So we just need to write that down that for part A, the large data set 
only contains data from May to October. So his estimate for December will not be reliable. Or will not likely be reliable. Okay, let's have a look at B, C, D and E in the mark scheme. So it was negative correlation and now there is no correlation. They say for part C that there are lots of zero rainfall in Perth and there are none in the sample. Well, these are the highest figures and you're unlikely to get these if the sample was random. Here we go, an increase of one hectopascal in daily mean pressure results in a decrease of this rainfall. It's unreliable as the large data set does not cover December. So you can't say that it's out of range or extrapolation here, um, but you need to actually, because it's, it's technically not extrapolation, it's just for a completely different month. So we can't say that it's out of range or extrapolation. We need to say that it's unreliable because the large data set does not cover December. Okay, so good luck for um, your studies on this chapter.